Hi, and happy Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. We got a cool video. We have a couple tanks that need, desperately need to be redone. We're gonna show you those tanks. We're gonna need a little bit of help from you because we have to figure out what we're going to be doing with them. One, we've got some stocking plus some aquascaping. And one, we know the fish because the fish aren't changing, but we got some aquascaping ideas we're gonna run by you. So I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so we have a 29 gallon here. And as you can see, it needs a lot of help. We need to change the stocking because a lot of these endlers and guppies are gonna go out into our pond and the scape is gonna be completely gutted this sword is ginormous, needs to leave, and so we need your help. What should we stock in here, and what kind of scape should we do? Yeah, this tank is a giant mess, as you can see. It didn't always look this interesting, but we are going to be obviously getting rid of that sword plant, like Joanna said. The green hair algae, I think we should just keep it. It's, it's amazing. The other thing in here, this has always been a retirement tank. So we've had some really old Bolivian rams in here, some apistos that are extremely old. We still have some albino quarry cats. They actually, believe it or not, like to breed in this mess. So we're going to go ahead and get a whole new sort of thing. I'm thinking for this 29 gallon, we could once again do more of a community scape. But if you remember, we just did that over here in that 55, and I love the way it turned out. And so now we need some suggestions for this tank. What do we put in this one? And I don't really have any ideas, at least with the 55, I had some ideas. With this one being a 29, I don't. Would love to hear from you, what do you think? Joanna's gonna redo this tank as well. This is the Guanacara Sturgiosi. These are amazing fish, as you can see. We've got that big male over there with, there's actually four females. One of them is a little bit smaller, kind of a run. I'm gonna actually remove her because she's getting beat up a little bit. But the group over here, I really enjoy. Now, this tank is nothing special to look at. It used to be really cool. We used to have some really cool plants in here. Then these guys came in, dug a big hole in the center. We got a little bit of algae on the glass, tiny little bit of jungle val over here. So I don't really, the, the stocking, these guys are staying. We may add some other fish to this tank, but they're gonna have to be a little bit on the larger side. We had some green neons and I actually think they got eaten probably by that male because we had eight or nine of them and then they just wound up missing. So what do you have in store for us with the aquascaping? So that's the question, how do we scape it? I could do a biotope specific for these guys. I could choose something based on a uh, particular color scheme, choose, you know, uh, my favorite black sand. I could do uh, stick with the uh, pebbles or based on the rocks and driftwood like what 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 do you guys see help me out because i don't have a initial thought sometimes i'll have an initial thought where i say oh yeah if i get to rescape that that's what i'm doing i don't really know so those are our two tanks we need a lot of help so give us some give us some ideas some inspiration what do you want to see do you want to see specific plants do you want to see specific fish what do you want and we've got more tanks we've got to do these are just the first two because they're in some of the worst shape Thanks for being here and we will see you in the next one. Bye.